Hello, and welcome to GE Stories. I am Christian Theodore Uy Escobedo, a second year BSGE student from Bohol, Tagbilaran City to be exact. To my fellow GE students and instructors at the Visayas State University, hello and welcome again. Now today, I'm going to share to you guys on what was my GE student life during the face-to-face -face classes. So basically, that was the life before this whole pandemic, this whole online classes setup that we have right now. <laughs> you serious? So what are the most unforgettable experiences that I had encountered? This is actually tough. Especially with the fact that that was my first year days and that was really the days where I had the first of many and there are very many to pinpoint but I'll try my best to mention it all. Starting with the earliest part of my experiences, I would, I would say the time where our instructor in introduced to us the different instruments that we are about to use. What made that experience unforgettable was the fact that it was the entry point to our lab lab exercises to our to our way of using those instruments and slowly by slowly we were taught on how to use those instruments hello there now another time would be the time where we were able to use the total station spoiler alert for the freshmen now since the number of feeder light that the department has to offer for the students is not enough, a total station is given to one group in which a total station would be in a rotation among the groups. This is not gonna bring a downside to the feeder light but when you use a total station, it gives you a fast and accurate measurements. Like it's so easy thus started the tug of war for the total station and this would happen every lab subjects that is also why that I'm hoping for the return of the normal classes so that we can experience that moment that experience again oh really I can't also forget the different lab exercises that we had during our face-to-face -face classes it was through those lab exercises where we got to experience different activities that we got, we got to do and we got also the chance to develop our skills when it comes with the instruments, the way we use it, the way we calculate problems, and the way we solve the exercises. Out of all those experiences that I've mentioned, there is one that I would take into consideration that it would be my life lesson more or more like a wake-up call and that was failing an engineering science subject specifically that subject was even free calculus <laughs> I am not gonna say that I'm proud of it that failure was the wake up call that I need that I need to put more effort on my studies and not just to take it for granted I really admitted that by that time for that time I wasn't really taking that subject seriously and that was the wake up call that I need and I'm still here and I'm continuing to be a second year student of this institution What do I miss the most about face-to-face -face classes? A lot actually. Or more like everything about it. You can all see how different this new mode of learning that we have today from what was then the normal face-to-face -face classes. I miss the people, the environment, the pressure the different lab exercises and activities we got to do and there are just too many to mention and I can't even recall all of them 
Filipinos, everything about the school, the department is great. And it's a great training ground for us students as we continue to our future. It's just sad that we have to go with this new way of learning. I believe we can get through this together as long as we do our part for the community. The better we do our part, the faster we would be to going back to the what was once the normal face-to-face -face classes and return to our beloved university. By the way, regards for sa mga butang na hibilin sa piska. And also, I won't also forget the friends that I have made during that time. Because what is school without friends? It was nice, or it is nice, to have friends from other places, to learn their culture, to learn their personalities, to learn who they are, and everything about it is amazing. give tips or advices. It's actually funny because I am still also in the process of applying these different tips and advices that I got from different people, but I'll share what I know. DO IT! JUST DO IT! Remember when I said that I fear a subject? Well then, I would say to you guys that Use failure as a way to learn from your mistakes. Let failure be the stepping stone you need to go to success. Because as we know, nobody is perfect. Another advice would be forming a study group. Two minds are better than one. The thing with forming a study group is that when one person or another person knows your struggle or you share each other's struggles you could help each other understand the need of another person would result to helping one another for the betterment of all so it's gonna be fail or succeed together another tip would be asking your seniors what better way of asking the expertise of the people who had gone or experienced these types of struggles that you are currently going. But remember that do not force their help for they also have their own struggles. Now don't let it go to the point wherein you would let them answer your questions or exams. Another is a very common advice given from different instructors, from different people. And that is to keep practicing. Even me, I am still trying to do this on a consistent basis because I am still new with this tip or advice because at high school I was not used to practicing that this much. But again, practice makes perfect and what better way to train your mind through practicing. Do not forget to relax and have fun. This is to be done to relax your mind, to calm your nerves, but do not do this too much as it will lead to, well, procrastination, to failure to get things done. Just the right amount of relaxation and fun would be enough for you to continue on the fight to success as the path to being a GE is not that easy. Now, one of the most important is to never give up and keep on praying. Remember that it's the will and the passion to continue that will lead you to your success, to our success. And let us not forget to ask guidance from our divine being. So, how did studying GE change my life? Compared to high school, I was more of a relaxed type of person during that time but then when I came to college it actually changed my way of studying. With the effort that I need to exert when studying has been doubled. In life, in, since studying GE, we had a subject or we have a subject that is all about loss and the way I view the different things around the world, around our country, is by the law. 
especially when it comes with lands. The Ding GE also gave me a better perception on the different land disputes that we have here in the country. And it gave me an understanding on who is right on those different types of land disputes. And also, it basically taught me on how the different types of surveys work. Now that concludes my GE story and as I go, I am going to show you guys on random clips and pictures of my different experiences. And one final note before I go, this is for everyone who are still continuing on the journey to being a GE. I'll ask you this, why GE and why VSE? Ask yourselves that and let that be a reminder on why you are here. So this has been Christian Fidor Uy Escobedo, BSG2, signing out. Thank you. Bye, have a great time.